Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of kooky, crazy kids in love that love reacting to The Bad Batch. Yeah, we do. So this is The Bad Batch, season two, episode number seven. Uh, if you want all of our reactions to this series, we've got a playlist for you and early ad-free access. You can get a month ahead and see our full watch-along reactions over on Patreon. Link's in the description of the video as well. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine having to work a bar where all the patrons look the same? believes <laughs> Rampart's lies. Even the Senate is not right. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. Let it go. How can I? Camino was our home. We destroyed it. All those cities, all those people, gone because of what we did. We were following orders. Oh, Good soldiers, Bob. And, and, and why is Rampart covering it up? Huh? I'm sorry, Slip. I can't stay silent any longer. Wait, what did you do? I sent a message to Rampart. Gave him the chance to tell the Senate the truth before I did it myself. Oh, dude, they're You're gonna dead. kill you. You are so dead. Capable of. It's too dangerous. Slip, we're not bad men, but what we did was wrong. Please, I need your help. Together we can... <gasps> yeah. It's like the first compliment I think you've ever given him. He's still a dick. It's <laughs> a good move. If you have a hat on, no one can see your face ever. If you're invisible. Camino was tragic. The reality is that without the production of new clone troopers, we are vulnerable. Admiral Rampart's proposed defense recruitment bill will keep us protected. This dick guy. Mm -hmm. Clan, a new conscripted military is what this galaxy needs. One comprised of the people who fight for the people. This recruitment bill has been discussed, debated, and tabled each session for a reason. There are more pressing matters in the galaxy right now than the costly creation of a new military. The war is over. Perhaps where you reside, Senator Pablo, but the mid and outer rims are rife with insurgents. We must be protected. Hey! of the clone army was a result of the emergency powers act put forward by then chancellor palpatine during the separatist crisis shifting to a military of citizens swearing loyalty fundamentally goes against the principles of this body i strongly disagree senator nobody oh. cares what you think well if you strongly disagree then this issue since he remains absent from these proceedings if you just disagree it's fine but if you strongly disagree trust this delegation to act in the best interest of all galactic it's citizens. I strenuously object. The yes. Of the clone troopers? Why are they not included within this legislation? How old are you? The clone army 12. cannot sustain given their accelerated aging and should be slated for decommissioning. They are not droids to simply be shut down. These are soldiers who defended us, defended our worlds. Sounds like Omega. I was just saying, it's Omega. If we don't, who will? After all they have sacrificed, you now wish to discard them. Leave them with nothing. Is that how we repay them for their service? Is that what this empire stands for? Yeah, ready to go. We debate commissioning a new army without a plan in place to care for our current one. As Omega's heart. The heart comes with the accent. Yeah. It's a package deal. Concerns, Senator Everyone in New Zealand has heard. Allow me to assure this delegation that provisions are in place to aid the clones as they begin to be phased out. What do you know about their needs, Admiral? Have you asked them? Or do Admiral they know what to say in their future? I am open to discussing any and all provisions you or the clones have in mind. If we work together, I am confident we can adequately address their concerns. He's a good politician. I motion to table the vote on the defense recruitment bill. I second. Governor Tarkin assured me you were capable of getting the Senate to support this bill. I am not the one who will suffer if it doesn't pass. It will. A few vocal senators will not derail us. They already have. Any of them begin to dig further into what truly happened to Camino, then this legislation is at risk, and so are you. I have measures in place to ensure that doesn't happen. Unless you're a wizard, and that's a staff, for the you do not need that long of a watch. She's appeased. The defense recruitment bill will be approved long before any of the provisions she's seeking come due. For your sake, Admiral, be certain there are no more surprises. So that's it? We said our purpose and now they want us out? Yeah. That's why I'm here. 
to better understand your needs. I need to stay a trooper. Can you make that happen? Well, no. Once a clone has completed the required rotations... Yeah, the Empire declares us obsolete. We know. Talking won't change that. But it can change your futures. I can craft a pension plan. Pension plan? I'd rather be out there fighting those insurgent groups that keep popping up. So do private security. when you're too you old to fight? That's not a scenario we're trained to think about. It's time you did, all of you. As difficult as it is to accept, your military service will come to an end. You get to choose what your lives will be. You spent years fighting for us. Let me fight for you. Tell me how to help, and I will make sure Admiral Rampart's bill meets your needs. You can really do that for us? Thank you for trusting me. I'll do what I can. Senator. Yes? Are you truly intent on helping clones? You have no representation in the Senate. You deserve to have someone speak on your behalf. It won't matter. That Morampart can't be trusted. Why not? He's lied to you, to everyone. Kamino wasn't destroyed by a storm. It was an attack ordered by Rampart himself. How would you make such an accusation? So I there. was there. Bought his Venator. He had us open fire on the cities. If they were true, the Senate would know. Someone would have come forward. Rampart made sure no one could. Clones are trying to speak been... up. Rampart ordered the, the ordered the code red. Went missing. Or ended up dead. You don't look well, Trooper. Trooper Markinson. The name's Slip. Check my service record if you don't believe me. CT 0409. You seem like one of the good ones, Senator. Be careful. Everything all right? Yes. Everything's fine. Took you a while to check on her, actually. Yeah. You were just like in a corner talking to some random dude. Everything all right? It's been gone for like 10 minutes. Senator Chuchi, Admiral Rampart is expecting you. Chuchi? Have you located Trooper CT 0409? Where's Goku? Not yet, but we will keep looking. It's okay. We like that clone. Uh -huh. like it's Slip. Clone. I'm in some trouble. I've heard you can help me get out. But you have to hurry. I don't have much time. You expect the Empire to fund a new military and full pensions for millions of clone troopers. If that is not manageable, Admiral, then perhaps now is not the time for your recruitment bill. Oh, I wish that were the case. But the murmurs of rising threats and insurgency are more than rumors. My priority is keeping the galaxy safe. But I do agree with you. The future of the clones requires further discussion and planning. We owe them that for their service. She's gonna murder them all. You, Senator. The storm that caused the cities of Camino to fall. How is it that you survived? I was taken Barely. part in a training exercise off-world. If I had been present, perhaps more could have been saved. It was a tragedy. The majority of the Kaminoan population was lost, Admiral. That is beyond mm -hmm. tragic. Indeed, but we must move forward. Genocide. Perhaps it is easier for some than others. Good day, Admiral. Fallen soldiers. Senator Chuchi, you've received a secure communication. Yes. <laughs> Sora, wait here. Yeah, you're not much security anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sure, go down the creepy alley with the droid. But like, great outfit, dude. Very yeah. guarded. Hey! Senator Organa. Hello, Ryo. R2C4, keep an eye out. Trust the droid more than you her security. You caused quite a mm -hmm. stir during yesterday's session. Curious how speaking up for what's right has become an act that causes a stir. Unlike mm -hmm. inaction, apathy, or ignorance. Indeed. I heard you had a meeting with Admiral Rampart. Was it... Productive? Surprisingly, sir. I expected more pushback, yet he conceded to many of my requests for the clones. Rampart is skilled at saying all the right things. Exactly. Especially when he doesn't want anyone looking deeper. So I've been hearing. There are other whispers, if you listen closely enough. The issue of clone rights is part of a much bigger picture. These insurgencies that have arisen, their numbers are growing, and the Emperor is afraid. If systems begin to revolt as they did with the Republic, that will threaten his new empire. 
It's rather convenient, wouldn't you say? How a catastrophic storm destroyed the cloning facilities on Kamino, making way for the Empire's new military. Tipoka City, designed to be submersible, weathered thousands of storms over the years, yet it suddenly wiped off the map. I spoke to a clone who claimed Rampart gave an order to attack the Kaminoan cities. Did he offer proof? He said he was assigned to the ship that opened fire. If we can convince him to testify. Where is the clone now? In hiding. My guards are out searching. Be careful, Ryo. You may not be the only one looking for him. I like it though. Young Pearson Feisty Senator doing yep. the right thing. Have you located the clone? Not yet. But Senator Chuchi's guards have also been searching for him. Follow the Senator. If she finds him, handle it. The Senator as well. Yep. Yes. Ensure it can't lead back to me. Understood. I'm at the rendezvous. Where are you? I'm in front. I'm in front. Senator. At least he went first. To track down. It's a bigger guard. He gets a point. You a point. A I single you point. Telling the truth for that. Admiral Rampart. I want you to help me. No, 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 no. I'm leaving once he gets here. Who? Someone who can make me disappear. Like yeah, permanently. I can't find me. How did you even find me? Were you followed? If you can get to me, they so can. They. I can protect you. Once the Senate hears what you have to say. Senator, you're not listening to me. They already killed Cade. My life is in danger. Yours will be too. You have to go. Wait! His attack on Kamino didn't just affect the cloning facilities. Rampart wiped out entire cities. Those who perished, including the clones who died trying to speak the truth, they deserve justice. Oh no, 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 no. Testify before the Senate. Rampart must be held accountable. Senator, I must insist we leave. It's not secure here. Yeah, he's right. Uh, and you don't need me. The evidence you no, want no, is no, 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 Oh, and he held the door open. Oh. Guard is badass. Yep. I'm gonna shoot through the. Oh, okay. I'll draw him out. Run for the door. Get to the speeder. I'll be right behind you. No, you won't. You. Yeah, dude, you'll be dead. Ooh, good call. I think it was such a stun too. Oh no! You are right, Senator. Captain Rex, what is going on? Hell yeah, Rex! I was hoping you could tell me. I came to meet a clone contact of mine when I heard the blaster fire. You were who Slip was meeting. He's dead. So my guards. What happened? Slip told me about what truly happened to Kamino. I wanted him to testify before the Senate. Someone was sent to make sure that would never happen. A clone? Why would a trooper do such a thing? He's not a trooper. I'm not sure what he is, but... I suggest we question him somewhere more hidden, and I have just the place. Where are we? A couple of friends of mine on this garage. They're gone oh, for a bit. Uh, Martez sisters? Nice of you to join us. You got a name? You're not wearing any identifiable markings. Who do you work for? Don't want to talk about yourself. Tell me whose orders you are following, and I'll let you go. No, you won't, Captain Rex. You're fighting the wrong battle, brother. You're limited. So what does that make you? I believe her. Oh, oh. fanatic! <gasps> oh! Great episode for not having any of the Bad Batch in it. Um, I mean, but you got a Rex, so that's always, you know, yeah. that always helps. Uh, but like, yeah, a lot of like, kind of going back to the, the political intrigue of like the Clone Wars. Yeah, I love, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. Love the escapism of like a world with Jedi and lightsabers and, and all mm -hmm. that. That's fantastic. But I very much appreciate the instances where we get glimpses into like the Senate and we see the parallels to like mm -hmm. life as we know it. Like this is something that we can latch on to because it's rooted in our world as well. Mm. Um, and I love the feisty young senator who's like, out there to do good, to speak truth to power, putting herself in harm's way because she deeply believes in doing what's right. 
Um, and she's a character that I'm, I'm, I'm like, I hope we see more of her to come because yeah. she's new to the scene, but I very much like her. Her accent seemed thicker when we first uh, saw her at the Senate floor. And then later, like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay, she doesn't sound so much like Omega. Like, but like when she first was on the Senate floor, I swear, like, she had like that thick, like, uh, New Zealand accent like Omega does. Yep. Very much so. I feel like it's still like there. Like, just like a hint of it. And she still kind of looked like Omega a little bit, but. Yeah, I was wondering, I was like, God, I wonder if there's any connection to Omega. And just in terms of like, even, I know that she's, I know who she's cloned after and she's a female version, but I'm like, but she's got dark hair. Like she doesn't look <laughs> like him. So, so like they tweaked with the DNA, right? Like they mess with the genetics a bit. And like, I don't know, maybe there is a connection there. Yeah. Her ancestry DNA tree is going to have <laughs> some of her in there. Yeah. And, you know, I appreciate that. I, I didn't realize that the Bad Batch was just like um, another another retelling of uh, A Few Good Men, you know, like in yeah. So, yeah, um, uh, Rampart is the kind of Kendrick. Yep. And he ordered the code red on Camino. Yep. So Markinson's dead. Yeah. Um, but he tried to do good. Yeah. Before he died. Yeah. Rex has got to be, I got think, Tom Cruise's character. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, the senators, Demi Moore. Ram- Rampart's got to be Jack Nicholson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't oh, handle yeah. the truth. Not Kendrick, but um, uh, Jacobson. Jen- Ooh, Jenkins. Jenkins. Jen- Jessup. Jessup. Yeah. Colonel Jessup. I think you just got Colonel it. Colonel Jessup. I think so. Yep, Colonel Nathan R. Jessup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Colonel Jessup. Okay, so that's what I was. I okay, confused. Kendrick, because uh, we watch been watching Suits a lot, and like that, they always bring up that part. You should see yourself thunder away at Kendrick. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so yeah, it was Jessup. That was um, Jack Nicholson. So yeah, that's who uh, Rampart is. Yeah. It's Jessup. Um, glad we figured that out. Like uh, the whole night hinged on figuring that out, to mm-hmm. be honest. When that one senator was kind of uh, telling Rampart um, that he better like come through, it was the first time like I saw like Rampart, like I don't know. One take order from anyone or two that kind of like looked like he was a little bit scared almost um, or like worried or uh, yeah. So it was nice seeing him at least like somebody get to him. I mean, I know like if he saw Vader or, or, or the Emperor or whatever, like he'd be quaking in his boots, but you don't see them. So I am curious about the one Senator with like the elderly lady voice. Oh, yeah. Who was all like basically kissing Rempart's butt. Mm -hmm. I am curious to know more about that relationship. Did she just buy into the agenda? Yeah. Or is there like a a quick pro pro quo there that, uh, you know, she gives him full-throated public support in exchange for who knows what? Like maybe in the best case for her as a decent person like it would be safety for her people but you mm-hmm. know that the empire doesn't necessarily adhere to those arrangements true i think she was just like yeah i think she was just bought into that shit she was just drinking the kool-aid yeah i think she was just drinking the kool-aid at least the center had one really great guard that guard was impressive yeah. that, like i mean he didn't actually hit him but like got really close to hit that bar is almost like harder than to hit him <laughs> so like that guy actually went through special ops training yeah and 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 it was real security the other guy was a model that just made the uniform this good. <laughs> and exactly. like she had both representation there. Yeah. Really glad that we're seeing Rex again. There's every time we see Rex, there's that piece of me that's like, oh, I really want you to sync up with the Bad Batch. And like, yeah, like, you know, whatever this is for the future of you, you all. But like you're together and, and we see more of Rex. So I, I'm left very much with that feeling right now. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want early ad free access to our reactions, then check out Patreon. Links in the description of this video. Get a month ahead on Patreon. And you can also see our full watch along reactions that way. <laughs> Thanks so much for seeing our reaction to the Bad Batch, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.